Engineering Paper is a free and open source app that is an easy way to create, document, and share your engineering calculations. So let me show a quick example here, calculating volume of a cylinder. So we can set a title for our sheet here. And so it will define a couple of variables. So I'll say R equals 10 uh, millimeters. Now I can type in uh, units after any number using square braces. I can type them in or use the uh, virtual keyboard down here. I'll do keyboard entry mostly. Um, you'll see the keystrokes down here, but you can always use the virtual keyboard and also on mobile uh, where you need to use the virtual keyboard. So I can, you have two types of statements. You have assignments like I have here, and I can assign more than one variable. So I'll say H is 100 millimeters. Uh, so I have my radius and my height. Hit enter to get a new math cell. All right, we'll do volume equals pi times, now times is just the asterisk, and then times r, and then caret to do a superscript, to do a squared, and then tab to get back down to the main level, times um, height, okay? And so this is another assignment statement. And then to see what the volume is, I do a query statement, so I do volume equals, and that gives me the volume. But to make this more compact, I, I can also combine an assignment and a query just by hitting equals. So anytime we have an end with the equals, we get the query that value. Now I can uh, set the number of significant figures here for my sheet, so I can drop this down to something a little more reasonable, maybe like two significant figures. And also I can specify what units I want to have this in. So if I say in liters instead of uh, meters cubed, millimeters cubed, I can specify that increase the number, maybe go to three significant figures here. Now, also I can set the formatting on a per cell basis. So I can hit this settings button over here and then let's say I just want it symbolic in terms of pi, I can uh, do that as well. So let's say I want to do something a little more complicated here. Let's say I want to, you know, instead of defining equations, solve it a system of equations. In this case, I'll just solve one equation, but I'll do this example of a pendulum. So here I have a pendulum and this is a period of a pendulum in terms of uh, length and the gravitational constant. Um, let's say I want to know the length for a specific period, let's say three seconds, how long would that pendulum need to be? So in order to do that, I need to solve this equation for L. And so what I'll do is, and I also want to document this, I'm going to copy this image. Let's do a new sheet here. Um, we'll call this um, pendulum uh, length. And I want to add a documentation cell to show what I'm doing. And if I do uh, paste that picture, and I can add some text here. So you have these documentation cells, you get images and text. So I have a pendulum diagram here. Now I don't need the math cell because I'm going to solve uh, for the equation. So I'll delete that. And I'll in insert a system solve cell. So here I can solve for one or more equations. Here I'll just do one equation. So I have the period equals you look back at this equation, 2 pi times square root of L over G. So I'll do 2 times pi times do square root. I do SQRT, open parentheses, just like I'm typing in the function. Gives me the radical symbol automatically. L divided by G. Okay, and for these system solves, I'll just tab over to this next uh, field, and I just type in the variables I want to solve for. So this case, I have one equation, solve for one variable, so I'll solve for L. And it gives me an equation. Now these system solve cells are fully isolated, but in this equation becomes a defined for the rest of my cell. So if I do L equals, do a query, that gives me an equation. So I need to define what T and G are in order to use this. So I'll start insert this math cell above, and I'll do, let's say G equals 9.81. That's our gravitational constant. I'll use the keyboard down here to save having to type in acceleration. So I have different units here. So I'll hit acceleration. I'll do comma. And then our t, let's say we want three seconds. We'll see how long that pendulum needs to be. And it needs to be about 2.2 meters. And again, I'll set my significant figures. We'll drop that down to three here. So I have 2.24 meters to get a period of three seconds. Now, the one limitation here is I can only see L at one particular time, but I want to see the relationship between L and T. So I'm going to delete the definition of t here. Now l is shown as a function of t. Now anytime we have a variable that's a function of other variables, that's automatically a function. And what I mean is, so if I do l, add some parentheses here, and I say t equals, so it's called as a function, three seconds, just like I had before, then I can see it at that particular value of t. And the benefit here is if I could copy this, do enter to get a new cell, paste that, 
I can enter it at different values. So now I can do it at multiple different values of t. And to kind of push that even further, I can plot that relationship. So I'll insert a plot cell. And this is just like a query, except we do a, a, a range instead of just a particular value calling l as a function. So we do l 0 less than t less than 10. Let's say a period between 0 and 10 seconds. I do need to enter units for the values of t. So both seconds for both 0 and 10. And it hit equals just like a query statement. But since it's a range for t now, it gives me automatically gives me a plot. I hit escape on select everything. So I see this relationship between the length of the pendulum and the period of the pendulum, pendulum as a graph here. And I can hover over and see specific points on that plot. And so for example, at 3 seconds, I get approximately that, uh, that 2 and then all the way out at 10, about 23 meters of pendulum length to get that. And I can copy this data and paste it into a spreadsheet uh, to use it elsewhere. Now let's say I want to save this, this calculation with somebody. There's a couple ways I can do that. If I hit just hit the Save button here, it's going to download it to my local drive. Um, and what I can do is I can open that in just a file on my computer. Hit in a, if I go to a new sheet here, I can reopen that file, and it's in my uh, downloads. And so that's one way, and I could email that file to somebody uh, so it has its own file format. By saving it locally, that file never leaves your computer. Everything remains on your computer. If you do want to sa share it, save it to the cloud to get a shareable link, you can do that. Hit the cloud button, hit confirm, you get a link that you could email somebody. And that nice thing here is they don't have to have any, you know, they don't have to go to the website. They can just hit this link, automatically get to this calculation. So that's a nice way to share uh, your documents as well. So you can download them or share them via shareable link. All right, so if you want to see more complicated calculations, you go to the blog. And so there's many different examples of calculations here. So this, for example, is lead screw calculation. Um, and it, you can have documents, uh, images, text, to document it. Here it's showing the tables. So here I have many different uh, screw parameters. And I can change rows of the table to change these values of diameter and pitch. And it's entering a bunch of different equations, doing some calculations for torque. And yeah, and then at the end, it has a graph of efficiency versus uh, uh, the lambda. And also, it calculates the lambda and pitch that would be required to make the screw not backdrivable by solving this system of equations. In addition to solving equations exactly symbolically, it can also do numerical solving for equations when the, the with an initial guess when that solution is not available. There's also a Reddit community. If you want to share your sheets that you've, you've created or ask questions or keep up to date with what's going on, you can join the Reddit community. Uh, since it's open source, uh, it has a GitHub page. Um, here it's showing it running on mobile and in the browser. You can also install from the Microsoft App Store or the Google Play Android Store. You can also install as an app on iOS devices directly from Safari. So Safari allows you to do that. And this is just showing the App Store pages on both Windows and the Android App Store. The best way to support this free and open source project is to like and subscribe to the various platforms, YouTube, Reddit, uh, GitHub, uh, and on the app stores uh, is the best way to support the ongoing development of this project.